It's your girl Kyo Chemist and I'm coming to you today with a makeup look. Yes, Kyo Chemist is dabbling in the world of makeup. Go figure. Um, this is the look. Um, here are the eyes. The cheek look. And the lips. Mwah. So yes, um, the colors that I use for this look are some of the ones that I showed you in my Supergirl Luscious um, haul video. I used Hate Me, Mona Lisa, and Rome. And I'm also wearing the Toast Bronzer Blusher on my cheeks. Um, let me just say, no, I did not receive these items for free. And I am not being paid to promote their products. I did a haul video. Some people said they wanted to see what looks I came up with. So I decided I should try to do some looks. So this is the first look. I'll probably do a couple more. This is just the first idea that I came up with. Um, I really like this uh, look and um, I was just thinking sometimes some of the ladies will do the looks and they kind of come up with titles for their videos um, based on the names of the colors that they use so I guess my name would be for this and I'll probably use this as my title is hate me Mona Lisa so I hope you guys enjoy the, the tutorial um, please rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope to have more looks in the future. Alright, bye. So let's get started. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is smooth in my e.l.f. primer, the stick primer that I use. So I'm going to smooth that right into the lids and up. As a color base, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild um, Cream shadow pencil in techno so I'm going to put that all over my lid okay so the first um, color that I'm going to use is the Supergirl Luscious Pigment in Hate Me which is if you remember from my haul is the purple shade here I'm going to apply that all over my lid with a I guess sort of regular eyeshadow brush here. So I'm just going to pick some of that up and pack it over my lid. Okay. So we have that. You guys can see. The next color that I'm going to use um, which is going to go into my crease area and I'm going to blend out is the shade Mona Lisa which was also a color from my haul video which if you recall is kind of a I guess burgundy sort of shade so I'm going to take the same, I'm going to use the same brush right at this right now I just have the color sort of on the tip and I'm going to put that right into my crease I'm just kind of packing it right now in the crease because so I'm going to go back and blend that out. And the color payoff of these is really, really nice, you guys. I must admit, it is very nice. Alright, now that I have that just packed into my crease, I'm going to go back with a fluffy brush. This has nothing on it, just a clean fluffy brush and I'm going to blend this Mona Lisa, kind of smoke it out. So here we go. I'm trying to focus more on the edge of the Mona Lisa um, going up toward the brow bone. I don't want to completely lose the color. you should blend this you know until you get it the way you want it like I said I'm kinda going for a smoky effect with the Mona Lisa okay so this is what I have and I'm satisfied with that so next I'm gonna take a another brush another eyeshadow brush that I have and I need a highlight color so for my highlight color 
I am actually going to use Rome. If you guys remember, that color is kind of a light goldeny sort of color. I'm going to get a little bit of that on my brush and apply it right, particularly at the very peaky part of where my brow kind of juts up. So I'm going to sort of pack that on. Alright, and then I'm going to take that same blending brush and blend it down into the room a little bit. Okay, so that's what we have. Next, I am going to take, this is a e.l.f. shimmer um, eyeliner pencil. This is the purple shade. I can't remember if it's purple or violet or what color they called it, but I'm going to take that, excuse me, and line my lower, um, my water line. The pencils and things that I am using, if you have something similar, that's what you should use. You don't have to go out and buy everything that I'm using. And I'm going to go back and set that with the Hate Me. Um, and I'm going to use, I have a small angled brush. and that's how that looks. So I now am going to go um, line my upper lid, maybe under my waterline, put on my mascara, and I will be back. Right. Hi guys, so I'm back. I have um, lined my, oops, here it is, lined my upper lash line and my underneath a little bit with this black shimmer eyeliner from e.l.f. Similar, similar to the purple one. These are like a dollar each. And I have also applied my mascara, which I used the Maybelline Lash Stiletto all over my lashes. I also went back and applied, as you can see, a little bit of the Rome with this little small slanted um, brush here just into, the, into my tear duct area to give that some extra pop and shine. Um, now I am about to apply my blush color which I am going to use. This is the Toast. It says bronzer, but I'm using it as a blush on my cheeks. And I'm going to just use this slanted um, bronzing blush, brush, brush by e.l.f. So I'm just going to tap a little bit of this. Um, this is very pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. I'm trying not to make a mess here. All right. All right. So I'm going to apply that. And this is just going to give me a nice, warm, glowy look. Okay. So that's the toast. And now I am going to apply um, some lip color. I have already, I'm going to put a little bit more of this on. If I can get it open. I've already applied some of my, um, this is my lip polish in bronze uh, bliss from This is the Natural Use. So, this is my girl Paula's gloss that um, I had ordered a while ago. So, yeah, so I've applied that. So, I'm actually, the lip color I'm going to use, I don't know if this is going to focus at all. But it's an NYC color, and it's called Wild Orchid. And it's kind of like a rose gold is what I guess I would call it. Um, actually, before I do that, let me line my lip. I'm just going to use a brown liner. You can use any brown liner.
You guys, I'm still trying to get my camera angles together and work out, you know, the best way to do this, but, you know, so far so good. Bear with me. So, this is the Wild Orchid. I think it's a nice compliment to the uh, toast on my cheeks. So it warms everything up down here and then you have this nice bold eye. So yeah, I think this is going to be my final. Also, I wanted to point out, I had a question from, I think her name is Tiara. I think her username here on YouTube is T-I-A-R-A-N-M. And she was asking me if I wore my glasses with my makeup. Well, yes. Um, I've actually done this entire tutorial with no corrected lenses, glasses, or contacts. So I probably have been out of the frame because I'm half blind too. So that doesn't help that I'm working on camera angles and I can't hardly see. But yeah, here are my glasses right here. I would definitely wear my glasses with this look. Um, I think the color is, you know, nice and bright enough that even with glasses on you can still see that my eyes are you know made up and you are drawn to my eyes um, some looks probably may not be as effective um, with your glasses so you just kinda have to find a balance I don't think you have to wear the brightest colors just because you have on glasses I think you can wear something like this this is a look I would definitely wear to work uh, or in a professional setting but I can also you know take it out and smoke it down a little bit and wear it out to the club. So, um, hope that helps. Yes, I definitely will wear my glasses and sometimes with my makeup. I go back and forth between glasses and contacts. So, I hope that helps. Hope you guys like this. I'm going to try to do more makeup looks um, working. So, bear with me. But, uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>